Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading R here on CNBC TV 18. We have been talking about the equity market, so let's talk about the world of commodities now. Manisha is here with us, and she has put together a very interesting piece on the profits that some of the world's biggest commodity traders have seen. They've hit a record high in 2022. So Manisha is here with that. Manisha, these are some big numbers that you have. Well, yes, Pavitra, and the numbers haven't gone down in 2023 as well. <clears throat> Pardon me. If you look at the first quarter of 2023, the numbers even now continue to be very strong. I mean, look at the kind of volatile moves we've seen in many of these commodities. So, well, yes, the profit margins have just about continued to go up. But this is the 2022 data where the global earnings for commodity trading companies has hit a record $115 billion. I mean, this is the highest by far. And I'll give you a comparison on what we've done in the previous year and you'll understand on where these numbers stand at this point in time. So, I'll start with Glencore and we have seen uh, the net income uh, here go up by nearly 17.3 billion. Now, this is three times or threefold higher than 2021. I mean, that's the kind of work that they've done. And Glencoe does agro and non-agro, both of these commodities. Uh, moving on, and we'll talk about Mercuria and Trafigura as well, where the net income stood at $7 billion, and that equals combined income of last four years for them. So that's how 2022 panned out for Trafigura. Trafigura also deals with metals and energy as commodities. Now, Whitehall is by far the largest trader when you look at uh, energy and crude oil there. And their turnover was $505 billion in the previous year as compared to $279 billion in 2021. So, almost doubling of what we've seen in one year coming in from Whitehall as well. Moving on, you also have Mercuria where their net income was at $3 billion, double of $1.25 billion that they did in 2021. And as I said, the major commodities that have given them this income clearly has been gas, Power, electricity, crude oil, this is where we saw the major movements coming in from and not forgetting carbon trading because this is another one which saw very huge trading volumes coming in from Europe and China and US as well. Well, the reasons that you saw huge volatility in commodities was, one, it was Russia-Ukraine war that already led to a lot of supply concerns into the market and the speculative long positions continued to gain up. There has been extreme volatility in energy markets. In a span of day or 24 hours, we saw the crude oil prices move anywhere between 3 to $7 in matter of a day and that is what led to profits as well. And then came the economic activity rebounded after uh, post the pandemic. Demand also rose in 2022. There was a lot of pent up demand coming into the markets. Led, that led to the markets higher. There was also a demand supply mismatch because during the COVID periods, we saw the supplies go down quite strongly. And then because uh, most global central banks were printing money with the kind of recession concerns we were in. So there was a lot of access to capital as well. That led to hedge, mo hedge money and fund managers uh, making higher positions there. Energy transitions is another thing that uh, led to a lot of buying in metals and crude, where we saw all-time highs, by the way, coming in for coal and various ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Markets do believe that the fundamentals are not solved yet. We still are looking at recession concerns. We still are looking at lower supplies. Demand from China is expected to go higher. And even as you wouldn't see a repeat performance of what we saw in 2022, but the belief is that the high volatility in commodities will just about continue. And many of these companies are looking at making further profits. Phenomenal numbers, uh, Manisha. Thank you very much for highlighting that. Need to slip into a short break. We'll come back, discuss market technicals. Rahul Mohind,